Hi guys. In this video I just wanted to show you some different diodes you can use for this radiant charger. In my other videos I was using a single diode on the output so I wanted to make an update here because a single diode is just not sufficient for a 1 ohm coil. So what I'm using are UF 4007 diodes and those are an ultra fast switching 1000 volt diode. So the diode is good but they are too small and what I did is I added 10 diodes in parallel here and they're soldered to copper bars it's not the easiest thing to do so the solder um, it's very bulky so there's 10 diodes there in parallel the high voltage side which is a 134 ohm coil it only requires one of these diodes because there's very little power actually coming out of this high voltage coil because the wire is very very thin but on this thick coil on the bottom you do need these 10 diodes otherwise the diodes will get very hot these diodes don't get hot during operation because now there's 10 of them so unfortunately I found the correct diode that I was looking for it's this one and this is out of the same microwave off of this transformer this is a high voltage high output diode I didn't find it until after I soldered the 10 diodes. So I wanted to show you there's a couple options. You can use the microwave diode that is in a microwave with the microwave transformer or if you have very small high voltage diodes you can put multiple diodes together. So those are kind of some options you have. I would definitely recommend trying the single diode because obviously that's a lot easier. Okay so <clears throat> This is the latest incarnation of this project, and I'm using a 16 volt power supply, which is overkill. You should stay at 12 volts just because it's pushing the circuit to the limit with the 16 volts. But that's what it looks like. I've upgraded the uh, output leads to heavier duty leads. Everything is soldered. You want to solder everything that you can, obviously, because if it's not soldered, you're losing power. It's uh, resistance that you don't want. So you want to solder everything that you can. Okay, well that's this video for now. I just wanted to explain the use of diodes. So make sure you use a heavy duty diode or multiple diodes just to avoid any problems. Okay, thanks a lot.